I've decided today to show just a little tip. And today's tip, little advice is with these vacuum bags. And these are normally used to put very bulky pillows or things that would normally compress and you can fit them into small areas. So you'd stick them in a vacuum bag like this. You'd put the vacuum hose over this fitting and you draw it down to where it's very small amount. You remove the airspace and then you can store a whole lot more into a smaller area. I don't like these vacuum bags at all. Uh, for one, they're not really scientific or in industrial vacuum bags or they're not these, these valves are not made to, uh, to, to last all that long or to really seal like a, a scientific instrument would. So I'll tell you what I do. What, what would an engineer do instead of really purchasing these bags? I would still use the bags. The, the bags are fine. But instead... Hey, let me get this out of the way. I'll use an example. I do have in the shop... Uh, bulky items and since I have a home shop like most of you are watching this because you're interested in either developing a home shop or doing things at home you don't have a whole lot of storage. I have a bunch of uh, foam padding but I don't use it very often. This is a little bit pricey so I don't want to just throw it away. I want to save it for when I need it and it might be a year, it might be two years before I need to use a piece of this. The problem with these bags is that I would never fit this into the va bag before vacuum process. It's just too big for this bag. But this will collapse much smaller than this, the size of this bag, this old vacuum bag. So what I prefer to do is use a very inexpensive garbage bag and I'll draw a vacuum on this and then I'll fit this into this bag. And this will re-expand to the size of this bag. And it won't be flat like a pancake, like this bag might produce. It will expand to the radius that the bag can supply. And so you have somewhat of a, a rounder tube. Uh, much like my other example over here, it's still, it's still flat somewhat, but it's uh, rounded. Now this is not holding a vacuum seal like its original intention. This is holding a bag just like this that I vacuumed, then I fit it in here and then the bag expanded to the restriction that this uh, older vacuum bag is producing. And that's really what you want. If you don't have one of these vacuum bags and you want to make this a much smaller diameter or, or space requirement, uh, there's no problem. You don't, I have these laying around uh, they don't hold a vacuum anymore, but they still provide a structural restraint. You could pull a vacuum on this big bag easily with a shop vac like I'm using, or you can use your regular vacuum cleaner. It doesn't matter at all. You can draw this down to a small size and then wrap some clear plastic around it, just like you do for your, your, uh, your meals when you want to cover it with plastic saran wrap or any of those kind of wraps and wrap around a few times and, and it'll hold and this will expand back out until it uh, no longer goes because of the restriction of whatever bag it's in and you can use other little uh, uh, bags that don't stretch very much that will hold the tension so let me demonstrate this is big and bulky and I'll just fit it into the bag after I draw a vacuum And I don't do anything fancy, I just stick my, my vacuum hose in there and I, I don't even tightly grip it with my hand to hold it. It just, a light grip will do. Especially something like foam, it draws down so much. I can use a much smaller bag if I wanted to, look at the size of that. But I'll just stick it in here with the vacuum drawn on it. Then I'll release the vacuum. It's, it's much smaller in here now, but it will expand to the size of the bag like it's doing now, fairly rapidly. 
And once it reaches the expansion of the bag, that's it. That's as big as it'll go. And the object here, it will hold this size indefinitely. Uh, you don't have to worry about a vacuum leak. And these trash bags are extremely inexpensive. They'll, they'll draw a vacuum no problem. You don't need to buy these much pricier bags and have a collection of them laying around and they don't hold a vacuum very long anyway. Like I said, I can use saran wrap or other little bags uh, that will hold the tension. That's what I do here in the engineer's home workshop. This is how an engineer looks at this problem. He would not go out and buy these store-bought bags. He would solve the problem another way. And that's how I store my bulk items. I hope you enjoyed the little tip. It's just a quickie. It's not really scientific like I like to do sometimes, but uh, maybe it'll be of some interest to some of you. Thanks a lot.